Hey dolls and gents, today I have a new get ready with me video for you guys and this one is super different because I am revamping my makeup from earlier today. I have been wearing makeup for like the past 10 hours and my makeup was looking crazy. Majority of the time I don't retouch my makeup but because I did like a quick kind of look and I was wearing glasses and I wanted to wear my contacts because I'm going out right now, I wanted to just revamp up the look that I was rocking from earlier. I didn't have any eyeshadow on earlier, so the eyeshadow was all fresh and new, but the face makeup and everything was pretty much just a retouch. So if any of you like work long hours and you don't have time to retouch your makeup before you may go out on the weekends, this is definitely going to be helpful for you guys. I did use my Vanity Planet palette brush set to help me create this look and revamp my look from earlier. They have really amazing brushes for your face and for your eyes. Y'all have seen me use these brushes in plenty of my makeup tutorials, but if you missed the discount that I had before, I have it again and it's for 70% off so you can get this 15 piece brush set for only $30. That's $2 a brush which is a freaking steal. And this brush set is vegan and it's cruelty free. It also comes with a brush belt but mine is somewhere up in my closet because y'all know I move. Y'all have seen me use these brushes. Anytime you see me using a brush with a wooden handle on it, it's my Vanity Planet brushes. So yeah, if you didn't get these brushes from before, definitely check them out. I will have a link down below for you guys. And if you would like to see how busted my makeup looked from earlier today and how I turned it into this nice going out look, then definitely stay tuned. So I've had my makeup on all day and it looks crazy. Like, I know. Y'all see like all this cracking right here from smiling and stuff. I rubbed off some of my makeup right here and I have like marks where my glasses were and creasing underneath my eyes. So I need to go out but I don't feel like doing my makeup completely over. I normally like to do a fresh face but ain't nobody got time for that today. So I'm going to show you guys how I like to touch up my makeup when it's looking crazy like this and turn it into a nice night look. So I'm gonna go ahead, take off my glasses, pop my contacts in, and let's see what we gotta fix. So now that I put my contacts in, you can really see like the area where my glasses were. So it's time to clean that up and I'm first gonna go in with my foundation today. I use the Dior Forever and I use the shade 60. Actually, I'm first going to go in with the Mario Badascu. This is their rose water facial spray. And I'm going to spray my face just to get it a little bit damp. Now I'm going to go in with my beauty blender. And this is the same beauty blender I used earlier this morning. So I'm not adding any more water to it. And I'm literally just going to pack this on. and place that over the area where my glasses were. Next, I'm gonna take it over this area. I don't know what I did right here. Like, I completely smudge my makeup. And the key is to wet your face first and then pat this over top. And I'm kind of going around my nose too. Then I'm going to take it around my mouth as well. Next, I'm going to take my MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NW45 with my Vanity Planet Palette Powder Brush. And I'm going to pack this onto those areas. I'm going to apply this all over my skin as well. Next, I'm going to take this Tarte Creamy Powder Foundation in the shade Tan Honey, and I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes. It's a little bit lighter than my face powder, so it's going to highlight under there because I do have some fine lines. So I'm going to look up and pat this underneath there to clean that up. And instantly, 
just cleans up underneath my eyes. I love this. Do y'all see the difference that that made? Love doing this. I really do hope that this helps some of y'all out that don't have time to come home and take off all your makeup in order to go out somewhere. This can really help. Next, I'm gonna take my Vanity Planet Palette Brush. This is their Ankled Blush Brush. I like using this for my bronzer, and I'm also going to take my Bobbi Brown Bronzer in Deep Four, and I'm going to apply this to my cheekbones. I'm reapplying this just to add more warmth back in my skin. So everywhere that I normally do, my forehead and in my cheeks. Now it's time to reapply that highlight. I'm gonna use my Vanity Planet kind of fan brush with my Bobbi Brown highlighting powder, and this one is in Bronze Glow, so pretty. This is the same one I was wearing earlier today, and I'm applying that to the tops of my cheekbones. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Now I'm gonna just take off the lip stuff I was wearing earlier. It was like a gloss, but it's all crusted up now. <laughs> and I'm going to apply this lipstick. It's one of my favorite nude lipsticks. I think the brand is Borghese, I'm not sure, but the shade is called Edge. It's really pretty. It's like a grayish nude, grayish brown. This is already starting to look way better than what it looked before. Next, I'm gonna take this Anastasia eyeshadow called Morocco, and this is from my World Traveler palette. Hopefully this is still available. And I'm taking it with this crease brush from the Vanity Planet palette brush set, and I'm going to apply this all in my crease. It's gonna add a lot of warmth there. I wasn't wearing any eyeshadow earlier, so I want to amp up this night look with some shadow and, of course, some lashes. You already know. And I'm also going to take this color on my lower lash line. And I'm really gonna blow it out. You don't have to go as low as me, but this is what I like to do. Next, I'm gonna take this Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Chrome in the shade Fool's Gold. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to apply this all over the lid. Then I'm going to work it in with this synthetic brush. Y'all already know this is from Vanity Planet <laughs> Palette Brush Set. I swear I love these brushes. So inexpensive and it gets the job done. Ah, oh, that shade is so beautiful. Like the eyeshadow is really what's bringing this look together. And I promise you, in real life, this doesn't even take that long. It's just because I'm chatting with you guys and I'm sharing with you guys the products I'm using. But when I'm grabbing this stuff, it probably takes me like 10 or 15 minutes to do this. So now I'm going to take my crease brush from Vanity Planet again and go around the edges just to blend everything out. Next, I'm going to take this LA Girl Pencil, and this is in the shade Very Black. I love this, and I'm going to apply this to my lower waterline.
And I'm going to take a bit of this Clinique Lower Lash Mascara and apply it to my lower lashes. And I already have a few lash tutorials on my channel, so if you need help with that, definitely check the description box down below for links on how to apply your lashes. I'm telling you, practice makes perfect, but it doesn't have to be hard to apply false lashes. And this is coming from a girl that had to get her roommate to apply her lashes in college. Like, what? <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And I will catch you all in my next one. Bye.